Okay, so I've got a swarm of bees here. I'm not sure if they're mine or if they're from some other place. I haven't checked my hives yet, but it looks like there's a lot of activity around mine, so this could be somebody else's. Or, I don't know from where, but, or maybe one of my swarms that has taken off in the previous years. Um, so I've got a box set up here underneath and I'm just going to shake out the bees into that box and hoping I'm hoping that the queen's in there. The queen is somewhere in the middle. All of the bees are surrounding her and if she drops into that box then the rest will hopefully stay in there and hopefully they, they make this new hive their permanent home. So we'll see. You can see them in there. I don't have anybody else that can take some footage for me, but I'll try to set up my tripod and hopefully I'll catch some action here. This time of year is the perfect time for bees to consider swarming. It's right now is when there's a, a nice nectar flow going on. They need nectar to make honey. And if their honey stores are getting full in the hive, then that's one reason why they would consider swarming. Another reason would be if there's problems with the queen or perhaps disease or parasites or maybe people bothering them too much or lack of food or water. And wow, this is really easy to do this. I know I love you. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? If a colony decides that they're going to swarm, the worker bees will create what they call swarm cells. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to create a queen that they can leave back in the hive with half of the, the bee population, while the current queen and the other half of the bees will take off looking for a new home. So what the workers will do is they will make these swarm cells and then they'll stop feeding the queen because they want to lighten her up so that she can fly to swarm to a new home. Once the bees swarm, they will kind of hang out on a tree branch or something like that for a little bit while the scout bees look for a new real estate property <laughs> for the rest of them. And they will bring back that information, do a little waggle dance to the swarm that has formed onto a branch or a mailbox or something like that. And they will, through this waggle dance, inform the rest of the colony that they found a new place for them to live and they will all then go to their new home. Once one of the female bees emerges from a swarm cell, she has, she can decide whether she's going to be the queen of that colony or if she's actually going to swarm with a portion of the bees as well. If she decides to stay, she is the new queen of that colony that's there and she has to go around and kill all of the other bees that are in those other swarm cells, so kind of her sister queens. So what she'll do is she'll chew through the wax capping on the swarm cell and she'll sting the bee that's in there that hasn't hatched yet or emerged from that cell. So, so first order of business, if she's going to be the new queen, 
she's got to go around and kill all the other potential queens because there's only one queen in a hive and she is going to be it. The swarm can also happen in the fall too. Um, not as common as the spring, but it, it can happen. I've had it happen. So they seem to be congregating back up into the tree. I don't know if the queen's there or just her scent. She may have left her scent, her pheromones there, and the bees will go back up to the place where they think she was, or maybe she still is. So I'll have to, I'll have to see. I may have to knock them down again. So these are the ones that I worked on yesterday. They all seem to have a lot of activity. I just did a quick look and they don't seem to be my bees that have swarmed. So it uh, looks like I caught a swarm here. Hopefully they stay. Most of them seem to be down here, but there is some, there are some here that seem to be congregating in the same area where they left, where I knocked them down from. So these bees are, are actually quite friendly right now. They're, they're fairly docile because they're loaded with honey. When bees plan to swarm, they actually have it all planned out. <laughs> what they do is they gorge on the honey stores, like on their frames in their colony, and they'll gorge on that and in anticipation of swarming, almost kind of like packing a picnic for their, <laughs> for their trip. That's why they're fairly docile. You can basically put your hand, I wouldn't do it just because I'm kind of a, a wimpy beekeeper, <laughs> but some people can actually put their hand right in the middle of the uh, the swarm, but I haven't done that. And I'm not going to do that either. But so far I've caught about four or five swarms and so far I haven't been stung yet from the swarms anyway. From my own bees, my own crusty bees I have. Just as I was talking there, that little cluster that went back up into the tree, they've kind of disbanded. So I think that I did get the queen into the box here. So basically they're all gone now, so that's a good sign. I couldn't have asked for a better place for those bees to swarm. That was a really convenient spot to set that box up underneath them. Uh, sometimes they swarm way up in a tree. I've had to climb ladders and try to knock them into a cooler or something that I could handle to bring back down the ladder. But where they swarmed onto that little tree, that was perfect where I could set that box right up underneath them and then knock them into the box gently. Um, so far the bees are in the box there and hopefully they stay. Uh, they still could have gone. The queen's in the box I can tell because all the other bees are down there with her but like I said they could still decide to take off and look for an another home. But one thing I could do to help keep them in that in that box or make this their permanent home is to take a frame of brood from one of my other hives and put it in there so perhaps they'll try to rear that brood and try to adopt it as their own and that might make them stay so I'm going to try to do that and hopefully it works but I'm going to put a, a frame of brood in right now and then I'm going to leave them for about a week and just not disturb them so that also could make them take off if I keep bugging them. So there's my excitement for the day. I came home from grocery shopping and looked out the window and saw a swarm of bees in the tree. I didn't even get the food put away. So um, I hope you found that interesting and I hope that they stay. I've done everything that I, that I can think of to make them want to stick around. And if they do, that's fabulous. There's another free colony of bees that we, we just got hopefully. So I'll keep my fingers crossed. 
If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time. Oh, and I'll keep you updated too, whether they stuck around or not.